What's up team? We made it to week two. So all last week was all about revisiting foundations, really understanding how to use our core. And again, you saw a lot of the same moves over and over again, because I wanted you to get really damn good at them. This week, we're going to add some equipment. We're going to add a mini band. Let's go. <laughs> so make sure you have a mini band. And I, this is two different size mini bands right here. This is the light, the lightest one I have. And this is like a medium size. I honestly would start with using the lighter band. Um, because the idea is that you're still going to feel your core in all the right areas, but now we're going to add a little, a little resistance, right? And that's going to make it so you're working the entire time of some of these movements, okay? So for today, we're going to be going through a 10-minute AMRAP. Last week, we did an 8-minute AMRAP. This week is a 10-minute AMRAP, so it means as many rounds as possible with four different movements. I'll walk through all of them with you. They're all going to be using this band. It's going to get spicy. It's going to feel really good. So really excited to add this. Another thing that I wanted to encourage you to do this week. So last week we talked all about who is that person that you want to be? What do you have to do in order to become that person, right? What are some actions that you can take in order to make that happen? This week, okay, I want you to develop some affirmations for yourself, okay? A few affirmations of that person that you want to become. So that might be something, and these are my affirmations. You don't have to use mine. You might have some of your own. Mine are, I am enough. I'm going to make it big. I am a money magnet. Whatever that is for you, write out some affirmations this week. I want you to get really conscious of having those. And before you do your workout with me, I want you to say them to yourself a few times on repeat. Okay? And at first you're going to be like, this is stupid. I don't believe in this. What the hell? I felt the same exact way. But after a while, you might just believe it. Right? Okay, cool. So let's get a warm up. In. Grab your band. Oof, I'm sore. I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> Let's inhale all the way up. Exhale the elbows back and down. Inhale it up. Exhale it back and down. Clap those hands together, lean to one side, get a nice stretch in that lat. And let's lean to the other side. And again. One more. Take that head, circle it around, drop your ear to each shoulder. Circle it around the other way. Shaking that head, yes. Shaking that head, no, the hair is all stuck in my face. Placing the hands down onto the floor, tucking the toes under, arching the back, pushing through, rattling the spine, getting in some of those cat cows here. <sighs> Breathing, maybe thinking about some of those affirmations that you're going to develop. Again, this is going to be different for every person, depending on their goals, who they want to become. <sighs> A few more seconds. Let's place the hand behind your head, place your hand down behind your back and just twist here. And some of those affirmations that you might develop too, you might not fully understand what they mean yet. <laughs> like there's a lot of times I don't really understand what I'm going to make it big fully means yet, but I just know, I just know that I have something in me that is meant for something so big that I, I, my, I probably can't even imagine it right now. Switch to the other side. You don't know fully what you're capable of just yet. It might be something completely unexpected coming to your life. Amazing. Keep that hands down. Let's push back into a downward dog. Pedal out the feet. Sink down into each heel. Breathe. Awesome. Let's take the left leg outside the left hand. Reach up and around. Switch to the other side, up and around. <clears throat> A few more seconds here. Exhale. 
And let's take that right leg outside, that right hand, and get down low in that squat. Oh, my hips are tight today. That's why this band work today is gonna be really good. Trust me, you're gonna feel a lot of hip openers happening when, when you're doing your core movements. Let's kick up down and around. Now let's switch to the other side. Oh, this leg is so, always, I don't know, you probably, can, I don't think you can hear that, but everything's cracking and popping. Breathe. Awesome, take a seat. Let's go do some of those 90 90s. Front leg 90, back leg 90. Rotate the toes of the ceiling to the opposite side. Maybe recognize that your hips are feeling better. Maybe they're tighter today. And now you have the option, if you want to, sit all the way up with this movement. A few more seconds here. Awesome, come on out. All right, so we've got the band here. I wanna walk through each movement with you first per usual, and then we'll get through this 10, 10 minute AMRAP. So we got banded dead bugs, 10 on each side. I'll show you those. Banded lateral walks, five steps each way. Banded marches, 10 each side, and then banded mountain climbers, 10 each side. So I kept everything basically at around 10, except for those walks. So dead bug with the band. You're gonna lay back. Let's separate this band out so there's tension in it, right? Just like we were doing last week, inhale. Exhale all the way out. Squeeze the glutes. Do it again, inhale. Exhale it all the way out. Squeeze the glutes, awesome. Take your hands on your knees and knees on your hands, attach them. We're gonna do same arm, same leg today. So left leg out, right leg out while pushing the band, bring it back in. So try one side. See how it feels and switch to the other side. And again, remember, my arm is completely straight here the entire time. So you're adding a little resistance now. Now, think about kicking forward with this. If you're nervous, you're gonna break the band. You can go a little bit less until you feel more confident and comfortable. And I wouldn't go with the crazy heavy band just yet. I would get really used to making sure, again, that you're still engaging the entire time. So next one, we're gonna keep them on our feet. We've got these lateral walks. You're probably like, how does this have anything to do with my core? It does. <laughs> so toes facing forward. I want you to have a slight bend in that knee. Keep the core engaged. Now, while you're up here, you're going to do a big step and a little step. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go back. So again, there's a slight bend in your knee. Your core is engaged. Tuck the pelvis under your toes. You want to make sure that they're not leading out in front of you like this, that's super over-exaggerating, and you wanna make sure you're not doing this. You want tension in the back band the entire time, so that's why I say big step, little step, okay? Next one, we're doing the marches. You're gonna stand up nice and tall, chest up tall, march it up. Drive your knee to your belly. Just like those single leg stands, you want that control here. You don't wanna be wiggling side to side. Again, that's 10 each side, so 20 in total, basically. And then we're gonna do banded mountain climbers, so you're gonna get into a plank, Feet wide for there to be tension in the band. Drive your knee to your belly. 10 each side, so it'll be 20 all together. Still have hair on my carpet, even though I cleaned it. I mean, what is this world? If you're a female on here, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, so we've got 10 minutes on the clock. I'm gonna put my music up a bit. As many rounds as you can do. Now remember, record this number because you can totally do this again and your goal will be to beat this number. This is also an amazing, amazing warm up for before if you're a runner. Like definitely do this core thing before, the, before you run. This will help a ton. Um, yeah, I'm babbling now. But what I love about the, all the core workouts are gonna do, you can always go back to them and do it again. Okay, so. I'm not loving this song, that's on, we're gonna skip it. Here we go. 10 minute AMRAP. Don't forget to mark out how many rounds you did. We gonna go in three, in two, 
And once, head on each side. Whew, let's go. All the way to ten. Oh, other side, let's go. Keep the core engaged, even with the band, so it might mean you have to kick it out a little less, that's okay. Stand it on up. Let her walk it out. Toes are parallel. Slight bend in that knee, squeeze. You should be able to keep your core engaged even when you're doing a movement like this. The core is in every single movement that you do. Standing marches, 20 all together. Drive it up. Keep going. Mountain climb. Drive it in, 20 all together. We're two minutes in. Shoulders are directly over those wrists, you're driving that knee into the belly. You're keeping that butt down. Whew, flip it around. Let's go. Feet wide. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. Don't forget. We're here for quality. Push that hand into your knee, knee into your hand. Close your eyes, really think about what you're trying to work here. Switch it to the other side, oh my goodness. Yes, bring it on up. Walk it out. Big step, little step, core engage. Start to think of those affirmations. Maybe you have one in your head as you're going through. Say them to yourself, I am good enough. I am gonna make it big. I'm a money magnet. I'm gonna make things happen. Whatever that word, that phrase is for you. Number 20 all together here, drive the knee to the belly. Stand tall here, this is important. Down to the floor, drive your knee to your belly. My band slipping off my feet, anybody else? <laughs> Amazing. I'm two rounds in. Again, this is your workout, so if you're ahead of me, behind me, that's totally fine, but remember, this is all about quality movements. We're about halfway there. Close those eyes, really feel that movement. Oof, 
other side. Let's go. Coming on up. Walking it out. Should feel this one in your hips. A little bit in that butt. And we're all connected to the core. Marching it out. Drive it. What's cool is after you do this workout and you take the band off, you walk around and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I feel like lighter. I feel like I can move more. Into those mountain climbers. Shoulders directly over the wrist, grab onto the floor. 20 all together. Remember, this is your workout. Come on. If any of these movements are feeling tough for you right now, no, that's okay. It's okay to be challenged, right? That's how we grow. Coming on down. We've got three minutes left. Let's go. Keep the form. If you know you're tired, don't rush it. Push that hand in the knee, knee into the hand. Make sure you're exhaled all the way out and you're really feeling that core burn. Standing up, walking it out. Marching it out. Keep going. Down to the floor. My band keeps slipping on my mountain climbers. I gotta move my band. We're almost there. Come on. Woo! We've got one minute left. Come on, let's see what we can get in. One full minute. Get in your zone. Say those affirmations to yourself. You are enough. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make all those things happen for you. It starts here. It starts with taking care of yourself, focusing on yourself. You can make all those things that you have happen. If you want that house, I want a house by the water, why not? Why not you? Come on. Fifteen seconds last one. And time. 
take a second and record down how many rounds that you did so you can post it to the group. Okay, post it to the group. Remember, you showing up for yourself is gonna help somebody else show up. You don't realize. There's a lot of different people in this world. There's the people who are talkative and posting about it. They're the people who are observing and they're observing what you're doing and you don't realize how much you're inspiring them. One day you're gonna have someone come up to you and be like, hey, you know what, because you posted your core workout the other day, I showed up for myself. And that's gonna mean something. It's bigger. It's a bigger picture. Awesome. Let's stretch it out. I don't know what that shimmy was. <laughs> Let's start here with some 90-90s, like we did at the beginning. So yeah, now your hips should feel a lot more open. Your core, ooh, you should feel definitely be feeling your core. And if you're not feeling it enough, that means we need to make sure that you're really exhaling and getting that core engaged while you're doing those movements. Slay into our back. Hug your knees to your belly. Straighten one out, hold it. Grab the back of the leg, circle out the, lit, the ankle a little bit. Cross it over. Oh. Back to the center, in, foot up, point and flex it, circle it around. Cross it over. Oh, everything just cracked. <laughs> Back to the center, hand in your heart, hand in your belly. I want you to inhale all the way in. Exhale it out. <sighs> inhale it in. Exhale it out. One more time, all the way in. All the way out. Take that second for yourself. Think of all those affirmations, or again, this week's gonna be all about developing them. So there might be one that comes to mind for you as the week goes on. And I want you to share them. If you feel comfortable, share them. I say it every single morning. I say it, I write in my journal. And eventually they'll all come to fruition. You are enough, you are gonna make it, and I'm so proud of you for showing up. So tomorrow, bring your band. Do more band workouts. <laughs>